Welcome to Mr. Otter Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to paint a sky with clouds in watercolor. And the key with this is painting the sky fast and you're going to just blot out the clouds with a paper towel. You might have big billowy puffy clouds, really thin clouds. I'm just using, you know, clouds from my head. So the key to painting the sky fast is using a bigger brush. So I'm using a flat brush. The key with painting your sky is going to be making a huge puddle in your tray of water so that you have enough color to fill in the whole sky and you don't have to remix it. So here is my big puddle. I'm going to put some blue in there. So here is what that looks like. If you want your blue to look a little bit more like the sky, you want to add a tiny bit of orange to it. Not too much or you're going to end up with gray. And you can kind of see the difference between those two. One's a little bit brighter and one's just a little bit duller. So mix up your puddle of blue and then continue on to the next step. Make sure you have your paper towel handy and we will go to the next step. When you paint your sky on your paper, it's a lot easier if you have it up on something. So I'm using a clipboard, a drawing board, and it's just clipped so that it's upright on an easel. You can just tape your paper to the wall. You're gonna get your big flat brush and your blue puddle that you've mixed up, and you're gonna fill in that sky with blue, and you're gonna do it fast so that we can pull the clouds out of it. Now these lines hopefully are gonna start to fill in and it's gonna create a flat wash. Grab your paper towel once it's all painted on and figure out where you want those clouds to be. So I'm gonna put one in right here. I'm doing billowy Maynard Dixon type clouds. And yeah, I forgot to say start at the top because that's gonna dry faster. Go outside and see what kind of clouds you have out. So that's an easy way to paint clouds. If this border bothers you, it kind of bothers me, you can use tape. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully this helps you with your future watercolor projects. Good luck and I hope you have a great day. Bye.